So here we have the Volkswagen Polo on a 17 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside you can see it's a three door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of it from there. As we approach the boot you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat should you wish to increase this space even further and then underneath this tray section even more space should you need it. Okay so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside but now that we've done a full circle of it you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer and fuel gauge. In the middle, you can see the total miles for the car, which are 48,349. Above that, we have a digital readout for the speedometer. You can change the information displayed there to various bits of driving data by using buttons on the steering wheel, but there are other menus available as well. So you have an audio menu, telephone, vehicle status, and then back round to where we started a moment ago. And the buttons that I was using to do that are just here and here. We've also got phone controls and stereo controls over this side as well. Stereo controls continue over on the left-hand side along with cruise control just there. Over in the center, we have the touchscreen for the car. So we're on the radio menu at the moment. You'll see that this car has got DAB, FM and AM radio available to you. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do. And there's plenty of ways of doing that as well. Uh, and they are shown on the screen just there. And they include Bluetooth audio. So once you pair up your phone, you'll be able to make and receive phone calls, but you'll also be able to listen to your music wirelessly as well. To pair the phone, just hit the phone button and then find telephone and follow the instructions on screen from there. Working our way down, we have the air conditioning. So you can adjust the temperature, fan speed, direction of the air, the air conditioning is on at the minute, off, back on again. You can recirculate the air that's in the car. That's a great way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly depending on the temperature you've set over here. And you, that's on when the light shows or off again. And when it's off, it's bringing in fresh air from outside of the car. Underneath that, we have auxiliary input, USB input, and a 12 volt charging socket underneath that flap in the middle. A couple of cup holders and a five speed manual gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Mac One Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.